Hi, everybody. It's meteorologist Joe Chaffee. We did a, an instructional video uh, earlier on soundings, uh, a pro, looking at a profile of the atmosphere from the bottom up at, at a moment in time. And I thought that this would be a good opportunity uh, to show you kind of a practical uh, per, uh, a practical use for soundings. They uh, come in handy, especially uh, in inst instances when we're dealing with fog. Uh, there's a, what's called an inversion in the atmosphere. Temperatures rise with height as opposed to normally they fall with height, but you get the bottom part of the atmosphere where the temperature actually goes up. And in the wintertime, when we're looking for instances where we're seeing ch possible changeovers from uh, snow to sleet, uh, and to freezing rain. And here's a, a good example of a, a setup in the atmosphere uh, with a weather system that in, impacting the, the Northeast. And you can see we go over from snow to sleet and, and then eventually over to rain. So I'm going to take uh, just a couple of points here. By the way, maps and the soundings courtesy of tropicaltidbits.com, which should be your go-to website uh, for looking at weather models. It's an absolutely terrific site. So here's the sounding and what it looks like. Uh, and if you need more explanation, you can go back to the prior video on this. But at this particular point, and you can see it on the red dot there in the uh, little box on the upper corner where I have the map, that is the spot that I picked up in northern New Jersey. And this is at uh, 10 o'clock uh, in the morning. And you'll notice the red line is the temperature. The green line is the dew point, and to the left, you see the uh, height levels in millibars. In other words, the pressure uh, as you go up, uh, how high in height do you go to achieve uh, these pressures? So we have 1,900, 800, 800 is roughly 4,700 feet, 765, and so on. The 0-0 zero zero line, you can see it sloped here uh, going uh, up the chart. And now we can follow the plot. Uh, notice that you've got the temperature falls with height till about the 900 millibar level, then it actually rises, okay? So you've got this push of warm air uh, somewhere between the 900 millibar level up until about uh, 600 millibars or so. However, the freezing line is out here. So the temperature here stays all through, uh, throughout this period uh, below freezing. So it's going to fall as precip will fall as snow. Now, I'm going to move the sounding to 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm going to roughly take it uh, at the same point as best I can. And here it is. At this point, we've got the ground temperature at 22 and the dew point at, at uh, 19. But notice the temperature, what happens to it after it gets to the 900 millibar level at this time. It shoots above the zero, above freezing at around a little less than eight, a little over uh, 800 millibars. So there is what we've been calling the warm nose. This would tell you that precip would likely fall uh, as sleet, more than likely. Uh, for, uh, this would be a sleet situation here. Precip falls, it gets into that warm layer, and then uh, changes over to sleet. And it's possible that if the warm layer is fairly shallow, which this one actually kind of is, uh, it's quite possible that some snowflakes coming down might survive the warm layer, and you get you would get some heavy wet snowflakes uh, in the mix. But there's your warm nose, and this would uh, indicate that you would see uh, sleet. And going into later in the day, uh, you st still uh, see some sleet here on the map. Uh, then it turns over. I'm going to pick a situation here where it's almost borderline. And here's your sounding look uh, at roughly the same point again. And now we've got a ground temperature here of 33. Uh, goes actually a little bit below freezing, just above the ground. Then you've got this big warm nose now. Notice that the levels, when you get to 800, uh, over 900 millibars, I'm sorry, less than 900 millibars, and you go to 800 millibars, that warm nose pops out where the temperature actually reaches uh, almost to um, uh, 10 degrees Celsius or 50. So there's that's a really good solid warm push in the upper levels of the atmosphere uh, that is, um, you know, not quite there in the very bottom of the atmosphere. That is a solid uh, inversion, by the way. Temperatures rising with height. 
uh, from just above the ground, but there's cold air trapped here at the bottom of the uh, near the ground. So you, you have a ground temperature of 33, and you go up toward 900 millibars or 850 millibars, and you have a temperature there at about 50. Okay, and then it starts to decline uh, as you go further, further in height. So this is this is really just a pretty you know fairly practical way of uh, looking at uh, a sounding uh, and and uh, it, it certainly does help the forecaster in trying to figure out uh, snow versus sleet versus rain and at other times of the year you look for inversions uh, to see if temperatures are rising with height at the bottom of the atmosphere uh, you start to see temperatures rise immediately as you go up so that helps you uh, with the idea of whether there might be fog or night uh, fog or not and also you look at the the lapse rate if you've got a rapidly falling temperatures with height a steep lapse rate a sign of a very unstable atmosphere and that could be pointing you to towards severe weather or thunderstorm so uh, this uh, practical use of a sounding i hope you got uh, some good info out of it uh, we are uh, of course uh, doing always uh, extensive weather coverage you can find that if you uh, join my Patreon platform as a way of supporting my YouTube channel and all the other things that I do, uh, there's a link here to this video that uh, you can uh, uh, access Patreon. It's just $2 a month. The price of a cup of coffee uh, gets you a complete weather coverage uh, that it's hard to find. Uh, the, I think it's hard to find the kind of weather coverage I do uh, on, on the internet anywhere. And also, you can download my free app on Google Play or on the uh, the uh, App Store for iPhones and, and iPads. It's available for all mobile devices, and it's absolutely free. Just search Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Uh, keep it here. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. More instructional videos to come.